This is Duke University. So in this research, uh, what we sought to do was understand whether eating with heavy or thin consumers results in you eating more food yourself. So if you go to a restaurant with a friend and that friend is very thin versus a, a heavier set friend, are you going to eat more food or less food? Or does it matter at all? We had an actor that would stand in front of, of people in line and she would either order a, a small or a large quantity. Her natural weight was very, very small. She was a very uh, a slim young woman. And then we put, we had her wear the body prosthetic and it took her from a size zero to a size 16 and she looked much larger uh, in front of someone in line. What we found was, was that it's not whether you just eat with heavy people or thin people that results in you eating more food or less food. It really depends on what that other person eats. So if the other person that you're eating with chooses a large portion, you're more likely to eat more if that person is thin than if they're obese. Conversely, if that other person that you're eating with take, chooses a very small portion, the opposite occurs. You're likely to eat more if that person's obese than if that person's thin. Our research shows that other people around you have an influence on us, even if we don't know them. And that's what's interesting, is that the mere presence uh, of other consumers that are big, that are small, and the decisions that they make actually influence you and the decisions that you make. Obviously obesity is something that is a problem in our society with respect to uh, we are getting bigger as a society, it has health care implications, and so understanding the causes and the factors and the situations that, that you as a consumer can be put in uh, that can be dangerous with respect to overeating and overconsumption is important. Many people might be worried about dining with a large dining companion um, because they might then follow, they might order a lot and we would do the same thing with them. But what we find is that it's actually the, the riskiest uh, sort of dining situation is going out with a thin friend that will then eat a lot. Because what we'll then do is we'll naturally order and eat a lot as well and won't do any kind of conscious adjustment for the fact that because they might be larger uh, than average. And so the riskiest sort of dining environment is that, that skinny friend with the big appetite. 